Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this Trust Flame engine effect. Let's get started. First of all, make sure you are in cycles mode because in here it will look the best. From here on, we will just add in a cube. Let's also go into edit mode and if we press G, we can move it around, select the Y axis and if we hold control, we can snap it and let's snap it one tick to the left so that the origin point is on one side. Back in object mode we press S to scale it and let's scale it on the Y axis. Make it as long as you want. From here on we already go into the cycles render. So let's select this one and in the world settings change the color to black so we can see the changes better. Now the whole rest is just a material. So let's head over to the shadings tab. And again, make sure you select the cycles render and hit new to create a new material. In here, let's delete the principal BSDF and add in a principal volume node. Plug this one into the volume and let's add in a gradient texture. This gradient texture we will plug into the emission strengths. Let's change it from linear to spherical. And now if you have the node wrangler add-on activated, select the gradient texture and press Ctrl T to add these two nodes. If you don't have the node wrangler add-on, go to edit preferences and search for node wrangler. Now to get the right form, we need to make some changes in the mapping node. If you want, you can just move this thing around or copy my settings to get the same look. I will put the X location to minus one, the Y location to minus 0.4, the Z location to minus one, and then the scale of everything to two. This will get us this circle in the front and this thruster form in the back. As I said before, you can also move this one left and right or with the set up and down to find the right setting for you. If you want to up the length, you can just play around with the Y scale. So if we lower or up this, you can see it gets longer or shorter. All right, this looks a little bit boring. To make it more interesting, we can add in a color ramp node in between. Before I forget it, to get rid of this weird glow outside, you can put the density to zero to only see the truster. All right, in the color ramp now, we will add some more points to play around with. Those two points in the front will turn to black. As you can see, this will give us this shape right here. If we move this black spot a little bit around, we can create this kind of second thruster in the middle. If you can change the location of the spot in the middle here with the color ramp, you can also go back to the mapping node and in the location, move the Y axis a little bit and it will start earlier. For a longer thrust, again, change the scale value. All right, this looks already really good. Now we only have to add in the noise. So let's add in a noise texture. Again, select it and press Ctrl T to add those two things and change it from generated to object. To later animate the noise texture, we change it from 3D to 4D. And all we have to do now is mix this noise texture with the rest. So we add in a mix color note. Let's plug this into the top here. Put the noise factor into B and change the mix to overlay. Put the factor all the way to one. And to see the noise even more, we also have to add in a color ramp in, the, in between the noise texture here and move these two sliders closer together or even invert them, whatever looks best for your scene. In this stage, you can also play around with the scale, how big you want the noise to be and how much detail it should have. This is all up to you. If you want to have even more variation, you can copy all this noise texture stuff and also duplicate this mix shader and plug this new noise texture into B. And then we can play around with the scale of the second noise texture. And now we have two noise textures with different sizes to drive this texture. In my case, I will delete this again because one is more than enough for me. At this stage, we can just change the emission color to whatever you like. And if you feel like it's not bright enough, you can add in a math node in the end here. Set it to multiply and up the value to maybe two or three, so it will glow a little bit more. Good, the texture is done, now maybe we want to animate it. Therefore, let's open a second window with the timeline. First, we'll animate the noise. 
Therefore, we have to go into the noise texture and play around with the W value here. Select the noise texture, hover over the W value and hit I to set a keyframe. Move forward in the timeline, increase the W value and hit I again. If you can't see the keyframes in your timeline, you have to select the object again and also the noise texture and then you should see the keyframes for the noise texture. Select both keyframes you created, right click and under handle type select vector. This will make sure your animation is always at the same speed. If you also want to animate the length of the truss, we have to go into the gradient texture mapping node, select it and animate the Y value. So let's go to the start and up the Y value so the flame gets smaller. Hover over the Y scale and press I to set a keyframe. Let's go to frame 30, change the Y value again to make it bigger and press I to set the second keyframe. And as you can see your flame or thrust is animated. If you want to make it go faster just move those two keyframes closer together and also if the noise is too slow you can select the noise texture again either move the keyframes together to make the noise faster or up the W value and set a new keyframe. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you could learn something today. If you have some questions, just write them in the comments and I see you the next time. Peace out.